Hello my friends and welcome Buck Small Engine DIY on YouTube and uh, here it is here it is here's the clogged plugged muffler would you like to see me open up this muffler and see if we can figure out why exactly it got so completely and totally plugged up that the Honda generator that it belonged to would not start would not run curious then stay tuned So yeah, last week we uploaded a video repairing a Honda generator, the EU2000i, I think it was, and uh, it would not run or start because we determined this muffler was completely and totally plugged up. So some of you said in the comments you'd like to see me open it up, see if we can figure out exactly why it failed. Why did it get plugged up? And I uh, thought, okay, let's give it a shot. First, I would like to address the question, it might be of interest to you. How is it that a plugged, clogged muffler could stop an engine from starting and running? And uh, you think about a, a four-stroke engine, after a combustion event inside the combustion chamber that throws the piston down, creating the power, it then comes back up and the, in, the exhaust valve opens and as it come, the piston comes up, it pushes that burnt gas, the exhaust, out the muffler. However, in this case, because the muffler was clogged up, that exhaust could not leave the combustion chamber. It just got compressed up in the chamber again. And then as the piston slides down, the intake valve opens to allow fuel and air to come in. But instead of that happening, that was the path for the exhaust to get the heck out of the combustion chamber. So you've got the exhaust gases trying to go out where the fuel and air mixture is supposed to be coming in and it just won't run that way. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. We'll open it up, see if we can learn anything about this along the way. So let's get to it. All right, so what I thought we would do is, uh, I, I think what I want to try to do is use my uh, angle grinder with the cutoff wheel and, and cut around the perimeter here, down here, and then maybe across here. And hopefully that would open up enough of it for us to see what's going on. And if not, then we'll try to open it up even more. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work, but we'll try to do that. And what I, what I think I'll do is I won't waste your time watching me wrestle with this. I'll cut it open, and then I'll turn the camera back on, and we'll, we'll talk about what we see inside. All right, I welcome you back. I did cut as, indi as I indicated I wanted to try. So we're back, and we're ready for the big reveal. It's interesting, this fibrous material. That's not what I expected to see. But you do have this fibrous material that I've cut through and the side of it's completely solid with carbon as compared to the outside of it that's not. So I don't know if I've discovered anything yet or not. So it looks like this is our intake side where the exhaust enters the muffler. And then it would be underneath this baffle and come out here. Or not. I'm not entirely sure. I might need to cut off this side too because I can't see everything that I want to see. And I don't know that looking at this is exactly uh, telling me very much. But obviously, it's completely 
black in there with the uh, built up carbon. I don't know, maybe I could uh, just slice it right completely in half that way. That might reveal some things to us as well. I don't know. Let me cut it open a little bit more. All right, I sliced it open on the other side in a similar fashion to the other. So it does have this fibrous material that lines the muffler. See that? This, by the way, is simply where the the, secure, the bolt goes through that secures it to the side of the engine block. So that's not part of it really. So you've got this fibrous material on both sides. carbon completely saturates this. And the metal uh, wall between the two halves. I don't really see a whole lot else grabbing my attention, but if it enters here, it's got to come down and pass through here, or it has to come up through here, but then it has to make its way to the exit. And that. There doesn't seem to be much of a passageway to get to the there. All right, so I'm gonna cut this open a little bit more and see what else we can see in there. All right. So here's our entrance, this is our exit. Going through there, and uh, can't see any light through there. Get a flashlight. So the exhaust has to make its way into these holes and then out through the that side. I just blinded myself, and I see no. I absolutely see no light coming through there. I told you it's plugged. But why? Well, I guess I'm going to try to slice this off. Let's kind of cut through this way, see if we can see anything. I'll do that and we'll be right back. All right, I didn't cut all the way through that, but... that guy. Uh, you know, I do not see a lot of crud in there, but I see some. You know, kind of a dead bug maybe? I'm not sure what that is. I 
All right, I've got no conclusions. I don't see any specific reason why this would uh, clog up. I think it's just because of the excessive use that this uh, generator has seen over its lifetime. That's the best I got. I don't see any any specific, you know, I don't see any mud daubers in there, dirt, wasp nests. I just see a thick layer of black carbon pretty much on everything on the inside and I think that's probably all that's going on here. I don't know, kind of a stupid video, but you asked for it. You wanted to see it. I really think that this muffler got clogged just because of excessive use. What do I know about that generator? And by the way, if you haven't seen the video where we repaired it by diagnosing it, a brilliant piece of uh, deduction, I might add, all humility aside. You can click on the link there, I'll leave one at the end. You know, the guy who owned that generator told me that he used it a lot over the years. He told me when he built his detached garage, he built it entirely on power provided by that generator. So it's seen a lot of hours. He told me he lent it to his neighbor who used it for tailgating. And then after a year, he finally got it back. And that's when, of course, it came not working. But I don't know that the neighbor did anything to sabotage it. I just think it's seen a lot of use. And uh, as quiet as those generators are designed and marketed to run, I, I just think uh, it it's prone to this problem. So I saw another guy on YouTube. If you search YouTube, you'll find, find him, who had the same problem clog muffler the thing wouldn't run or start and that tells me that you know what we experienced was not unique it has happened before and what he was doing was he was heating that muffler up with a torch and he was hitting on it with a hammer and he was throwing it down on the concrete uh and i think he he, he was he succeeded and somehow I, I think i don't remember but you know what i can't do that with somebody else's generator with somebody else's muffler the right repair was to replace it unfortunately in spite of the excessive cost, over 200 bucks for the muffler, that was the right call and the right repair. Uh, but looking inside it, I don't know. Waste of my time? Waste of yours? If so, I'm sorry. But I want to thank you for watching anyway, and I, of course, always appreciate your comments and questions in the discussion below. Uh, and uh, see what else we got cooking next time. I look forward to seeing you on our next video. And remember, as I like to say, only you put the do into do it yourself.